Inner Harbor of Baltimore at M&T Bank Stadium. Straight ahead, we've got a pretty good one on tap here as it'll be the San Francisco 49ers taking on the Baltimore Ravens. It's a rematch of Super Bowl 47 minus one Harbaugh. The Ravens and 49ers are underway. And he'll elect not to run with it. The fair catch will move this out to the 25-yard line. to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. No doubt about it. A really nice job there by the defense not allowing him to get to the perimeter. But that means your defensive ends, your outside linebackers, the guys that you pay big money to to sack the quarterback, they also have to have interest in the running game as well. And they did a nice job there holding the point of attack and not giving ground. He'll get this out right here to McCaffrey. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch. And it's third and four now. I know it was a game, but you have to sense probably a little bit of disappointment there because when it's out there in open space, I think they expect to get more out of a play, don't you? Especially when you're getting it to your guy out of the backfield. You're expecting him to be able to create something, be a little more shifty. Yeah, no doubt about it. Good open field tackling held it to an okay game. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Purdy now to throw. That's complete. It's Brandon Ayuk. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. The end result, 21 yards. Well, I think when they look at their offense, they think to themselves, weapons, weapons everywhere. And they want to move the ball around. They want to spread it to different people. But you absolutely know they want to get this man involved as well. And that's what they just did on that play. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. As this old brain remembers, when I see five wide receivers on the field as a defender, I know the ball's coming out hot. They expected it and got there and popped it free. Purdy to throw again on second and ten. Oh, into a sea of defenders and intercepted. Picked off by Roquan Smith. And the Ravens are going to have it here at their own 32-yard line. Not something you see very often from a quarterback of his caliber, an opening drive interception. Oh, there's no doubt in my mind that even he's surprised at how that one played out. But we know this guy is not going to stop him from continuing to fire as this game goes along. Probably give a little nod of respect across the field for that one and let him know he'll be back the very next series. And Jackson cannot get away, and he'll go down. Javon Hargrave, the D-tackle, getting the sack. Clock rolling as we hit the midway point of this first quarter. Well, now they'll try the end around. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. 23 yards to pick up there. On the run, this is J.K. Dobbins. Trucks over him. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little gain. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. Now Jackson. That went into the hands of Flowers. And this will move the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the 49ers 30. Ten yards there, good enough for a Raven first down. Really been an ideal start for them. They get the turnover on the opening possession. Now here they are moving the ball straight down the field on their first drive. And that feels good, but you know on their side of the field, all they're thinking is finish this drive off because they took it away, right? So now you've got them back on their heels a little bit. Now go down, put a touchdown on them. Look out, you've won the mental battle early in the game, and that may carry over for you. They'll run. This is Gus Edwards. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. A loss on that play, and now third down gets tougher. Third and six. Third and six. 
That ball caught. It's Mark Andrews, the tight end. And in for the Ravens touchdown. Mark Andrews, 26 yards. And the Ravens use the early turnover to get on the board first here in this one. On that third down call, the goal was to get the ball to their tight end and pick up a first down, but he wasn't satisfied with just that. They got the first down. That was the gravy. He decided to take in the whole meal and rumbled in for a touchdown. Tucker able to connect on the extra point. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. Second quarter now from Baltimore. It's the Ravens in possession as they've got it as we resume action. Here's Tucker now out to kick this one away. And this will not be returned. It'll come out to the 25. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. They threw an interception the first time they had the football, wound up leading to a touchdown the other way. How do you approach drive number two? Going back to your game plan coming in, everyone has matchups that they like better than others, where they think they have an advantage. Dial up some of those plays. Try and go to those spots and get your offense moving. Another run with McCaffrey on second down. And down right around the 32-yard line, four yards on the pickup. If you're a football guy, that's a pretty run because everyone is in sync right there. Obviously, the guy carrying the ball, but how about the people up front? Leverage, athleticism, they created some nice space for him. Here's third and three. Purdy off the play fake. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. Well, they were in search of a short gain on third down, and they wind up nabbing over 20 yards. He's such a good route runner. Shows it there on third down. Very proficient and a good pass. And you know what I've observed over the years in the NFL? The better a route runner you are, the more confidence your guy's going to have in you to go to you in important times because he can trust you being in the right spot. And they connected there and picked up the first down. In need of only about the length of the football here on second down. Shotgun now with Purdy. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. It's rare that a receiver of his caliber would drop one pass, but that's now two times he's had his mitts on one and lost it. Yeah, and I don't think that they're going to lose confidence in him, though, because of the track record. Such a good player, maybe having a bad game, but I think they'll still go to him in a critical spot. An incomplete pass on second down leads us to third and inches. Here's the former Raven fullback, Kyle Juszczyk. And he is going to have a 49ers first down, at least at first glance, as he'll spot the football just beyond the marker. They find a way to convert on third and inches. Purdy bootlegging it. And this is incomplete. Nice progress down the field. was halted by that incompletion. They could try for some safe yards here to get things moving again or keep throwing it and pushing it downfield to try and pick up bigger yardage. Now a second and ten. Back to throw, Purdy. Throwing middle, but it's incomplete. Well, there's an incompletion, partner, and the struggles through the air continue because so far their lack of passing production has led to a lack of points. Well, this drive, they're a perfect two of two on third down conversions, but they need a full 10 yards here. Purdy looking to throw. Over the middle, complete to Samuel. And he's going to be taken down with the first down at the Ravens 23. A really nice pickup of 14 yards, and he moves the sticks. On first down, Purdy. And that one drops down, incomplete. Good coverage there, forced the ball free, and it's second down. 
So another incompletion there. He's hitting on fewer than half his pass attempts in this one hand. That is not a winning formula. Yes, yeah, so let's make sure we give a little bit of credit to the defense here. They've given him a lot to think about, a lot of different looks, and he seems a little bit confused trying to complete passes. Throw right side is going to be caught by Samuel. Two minutes on the clock, second quarter, 7-0 ball game. Third down and one. Again, it's Purdy to throw it. He's got his target. That's complete. Touchdown. Juwan Jennings. A 14-yard touchdown. And the 49ers are within an extra point of tying up this ball game. Good bounce back drive right there through the pick on drive number one. Drive number two leads him right down the field into the end zone. Agree totally. Excellent bounce back. Tremendous poise. Confidence never lost. And obviously he transmitted that to his teammates as well. What a really nice drive. Moody good with the extra point. And we are tied at seven. So all even at seven now as they kick it away. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. So both of these teams, Charles, coming off touchdowns now, but this offense, they just had to stand on the sideline, watch their opponent offer a really impressive drive to reach the end zone. Yeah, and I think you're not telling yourself the truth. If you don't think there's some one-upsmanship going on right now because they just had their touchdown answered by a drive of double-digit plays that also found the end zone. Now they want to do something even more impressive to answer that one. Now a deep ball there on second down, but it'll wind up incomplete. Oh, that's some good closing speed there defensively because that looked open for a minute. But that's great work with the ball in the air. Never gave up, converged on his man, and broke the play up. They'll try to run for it with Dobbins. And he brings this up to the 46, good enough for the first. Now the Ravens going to use one of their timeouts as they'll get a chance to talk it over after picking up the first down. And he'll lose yardage here, back at the 41. Now that's going to go as a loss of six, and it'll set him back for second down. Creeping up on a minute to play in this first half. Jackson. And that is incomplete. My first thought is surprise, because that's one of the better tight ends around, and I've seen him pull in balls like this before. But how about a little credit to the defense forcing that incompletion? An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Jackson from the shotgun. And down he goes. The 49ers get there. Nick Bosa, he's the culprit, causes a loss of five, and it brings up fourth down. Here's Jordan Stout now. And that one hits a little too close to the goal line, and it continues into the end zone for a touchback. The San Francisco offense ready to start their next drive. And they'll have time for one play. That's it. Three seconds to go before intermission. And now this throw incomplete. And that is how his first half will come to an end. So two quarters down, two remain. Charles and I return after the break. And we 
welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. Set and ready to go for the second half. One touchdown apiece, 7-7 our score. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. The Baltimore offense at the line set to get going. It's a tie football game here. What do you think, Charles, the message was at halftime? Well, I think that they probably just looked at things and said, we're fortunate that this is a tie game. No need to panic. No need to change a whole lot. We didn't play anything close to our best in the first half, so we don't have to go out and win one for the Gipper. Let's just go out and play our best football and win one for us. On second down, a run with Dobbins. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. 44 yards rushing for him now, and he's carried the ball just five times. And they'll let the quarterback keep it here on first and ten. And holding it may be the wrong decision as he stopped in the backfield. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. A quick pass out to Aguilar. So no gain on the play. And that's going to lead to a third and 12. As a defense, you're more bounced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right there. And Jackson cannot get away, and he'll go down. Nick Bosa able to get in there for his second sack of the afternoon. That's his second sack of the game, and the best defensive ends, they do their homework as much as offensive guys do. They know how to beat the offensive lineman across from them, what moves they need to do to set them up. This guy's been pretty good at it all game long. 